for all daily at 6 a.m. Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Alpha. Thanks for joining today. Today I'll be sharing with you the topic, Deceitfulness of the Wicked Way. Before I do, I invite us to pray. Father, we thank you for another morning, for keeping us through the night. Today, as we look at your words, we pray that your spirit will work through us, be with the listeners, wherever they may be. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Deceitfulness of the Wicked Way. Based on Psalm 141, a prayer for the protection from temptations, not only without, but from also within. The psalmist is not only endangered by the schemes of the wicked, based on Psalm 141, verse 9 and 10, but also is tempted to act like the wicked. And I'm certain many of us can relate to that. The first weak point is self-control, is speech. And the psalmist prays that the Lord will keep watch over the door of his lips. This image alludes to the garden of the city gates that in biblical times protected the city. The temptation is also whether God's child will yield the counsel of the righteous or be lured by the delicacies of the wicked. So based off Psalm 141, 4 and 5, he said, Incline not my ear to any evil thing to practice wicked works with men that work iniquity. And let me not eat their dainties. Verse 5 says, Let the righteous smite me. It shall be a kindness. And let him reprove me. It shall be an excellent oil, which shall not break my head. For yet my prayer also shall be in their calamities. So as we look at Psalm 141, 4 and 5, it, the, the psalmist is making a special request. So this, this psalmist depicts his heart as a primary threat because of the, 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 the real battle that happens only on seasoned prayer of complete trust and devotion to God can save God's children from temptation. And I must add that Peter speaks to us and says, pray without ceasing. Because when these temptations come upon us, we have to be praying. In Psalm 141 verse 4 it says, Incline not my heart to any evil thing to practice wicked works with men that work iniquity, and let me not eat their dainties. So, as we look at this, we see that the progressive and the progression of temptation first in the heart fulfilled inclined and inclined toward evil, second, it practices evil deeds. The maintain the Hebrew underlying receptive character of the action, third, the heart eats of the delicacies of the wicked, namely accept their evil practices and something desirable. Because we are naturally inclined to evil, the evil things will come to us in a natural way. But in Psalm 1 verse 1 it says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. So likewise, in Psalm 1, the temptation comes to prevent God's child from walking in the Lord's way by causing him to walk with the wicked, stand in the path of sinners, and finally, sit with the scornful. Sinners, wicked and scornful, we are not to be like them or let them lead us away from the Lord. But in other words, we should be the light for this dark generation so that they can see Jesus in us and come to know and glorify God. This, the Psalms describe the progressive, alluring, and cunning character of temptation, which underscores the fact that only total dependency of the Lord can secure one victory. They stress the importance of the words that one speaks and listens to amid temptation. The end of both the wicked and the righteous should teach the people to seek wisdom from God. And in one of Sister Wyatt's writing, he said, we should guard the portal of our soul. And the same sense that God would have given us to praise him, Satan would use those same senses to enter our heart. Yet, in both Psalms, the final benediction of God's children remains in the future. This means that the believers are called patiently, trust God, and to wait upon him. And that, my friends, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Father, 
We are faced with wickedness all around us. We are faced with unrighteousness all around us. But God, you have made a path for us to overcome these temptations. I pray that when we are tempted, we will not be drawn our Lord into temptation, but we will go on our knees and ask for strength so we may overcome them. Thank you, Lord, for making a way for your people. We give you thanks. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So thank you so much for joining today for Alpha. Please join tomorrow for another spirit-filled episode of Alpha. Until then, God bless you. A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m.